Hey, how's it going everyone? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. All right guys, so today was Matco Monday. Had a couple of pick-me-ups, uh, but I want to let you guys know what led to picking up one specific item uh, before we go ahead and kick the video clips off. Uh, so last night I was in the Denna Tools live stream, aka the Bear, and I'll put his link down in the description. I had asked him, man, is there anything from Matco that you would like really want to try out and see in action or something that you've always been curious about, you know? And he said, yeah, actually I'd like to see how some of their impact sockets would hold up over time, run some tests, things like that. Well, today just so happened I had a cylinder head job on a Chevy Cruze, 1.8 liter. That thing was absolutely loaded down with nothing but e-torques and torques. And I was like, you know what? My e-torques are made out of chrome. I've had them for about 10 years now. Bought them originally off the Mac Tools truck. Been using them as impact sockets, even though I know you shouldn't, okay? But been using them as impact sockets, which you'll see here in the video clips uh, that I'm going to have following this brief discussion. But they've held up. They've always worked. Got me to thinking, you know, there's, there's a couple of them that I use specifically for like bell housing bolts, cylinder head bolts that I'm really putting some hammering behind. And if you guys remember this last weekend, I did actually go down to Lowe's to look and see what it was that Craftsman had. And they had an SAE and metric Allen impact socket set as well as a Torx and E-Torx socket set, all impact drive, but all in half inch, which doesn't make sense to me because I don't always need everything half inch. So I decided to pick up this uh, nine piece ADV E-Torx impact socket set, all three eighths drive. Well, let's take a look and see the Mac Chrome in action, and then we'll take a look at the ADV uh, impact in action, and then we'll wrap it up with our final thoughts. I know, completely not meant for impact use, but I've been using these like that for about 10 years now, on and off for stuff like this. I haven't broke one yet, but they do kind of wear out, and I'll show you in here in a bit. cylinder head bolts as well as camshaft bolts like on this Chevy Cruze they just love their torques and e-torques I tell you Alright, gonna try these ADV Matco e torques out for the very first time. Bought them specifically for my impact gun, so I didn't put a lot of wear and tear on the chromes anymore. I've had the chromes for 10 years, they're getting a little bit beat up, but that's why I wanted those. I really wanted to be able to put some shit behind it, see how the ADV is held up, and then use them specifically for impact guns. So that's what we're doing. See what I'm talking about? Now, <clears throat> what the hell? Do you do with this stupid thing? It's not even facing the right direction. Too small to really fit. I wouldn't want it like that. This just makes more sense. All right, so far so good. These e Torx impacts, I'm starting to really like them already. First time using them today. Helped me out with this cylinder head job that we got going on. Be sending that down to the machine shop, but just lots and lots of e Torx. These crumbs have seen some better days with my destruction some of them are not so bad some of them are still like new it's mainly these ones 12 and 14 and even the bigger sizes that this set did not come with this goes e5 to e16 where this covers e4 through e20 and chrome that's an old max that i've had that for about 10 years this I just got today. All right, so the real question, I guess, is not so much which brand of e-torque socket should you get. The better question would be, should I get chrome first or should I get impact first? Well, let me tell you this much. There's going to be a handful of situations where you're going to want uh, the quarter inch and three eighths. There's going to be another time that you're going to want half inch. More specifically, you'll probably use these half the time with an impact gun half the time with like a cordless ratchet 
and or hand ratchet of some kind because there's going to be really tight spots for instance like uh, thermostats, maybe some ground bolts or straps that are all e-torques. Uh, maybe in tighter spots like with BMW you might have an e-torque that's tucked behind something that's kind of weird where you might even need an e-torque style wrench which my boss actually has a uh, Mac e-torques double sided wrench which is actually pretty awesome. I haven't really seen too many other ones made. I know you can find them on eBay or you can also find them on Amazon. I'm aware. Uh, but just getting back to the uh, which one should you go with first? Look, half the time you're gonna use impact gun, half the time you're gonna use chrome. I would say if you can find a pretty happy middle ground, try to get them an impact first because you're gonna beat the heck out of these things. However, these ones that I had in chrome, like I said, I've had them for about 10 years uh, in the first half of my career, really didn't use e-torx a whole heck of a lot. Uh, mostly just regular six point sockets like anybody else and ratchet wrenches and goofy. Uh, flex head ratchet wrenches and things like that. Never really had a killer need uh, for e torques until I started getting into uh, the more modern day Chrysler products and then even more so once I got to the independent shop and started working on European and then you know there's sometimes you see them on domestics and things of that nature so it would be my recommendation that look if you can afford both get both but just know that you can actually get a seven piece set which covers, so you can actually get a set for $9.99 from Harbor Freight, and I believe portion of the size is gonna be in quarter inch, the other portion of it's gonna be in 3 eighths. Uh, it covers sizes E6, E7, E8, E10, E12, E14, and E16. So not a bad set for $9.99. The Matco ADV ones that I picked up today was for $75, and the Mac Tools e -torx chrome sockets that I picked up 10 years ago I believe was like between 50 and 60 dollars at the time uh, for that set. Now that set covered me in quarter inch, three eighths and half inch. Notice the other weekend when we went down to Sears the Craftsman set was entirely half inch. Doesn't do me a lot of good especially trying to get the smaller e -torx bits like down around the thermostat area or ground straps that are tucked in and way in behind something where you have to take a long reach flex head ratchet to get to it and you don't have a lot of room. You're not going to want all half inch. This set is entirely 3 8 There's going to be certain spots that I want uh, that 3 8 drive in that smaller fastener. There's going to be other times that I want a quarter inch drive for even tighter tolerance spaces that I have to work out by hand. Uh, but to give you a for instance, you guys saw me removing the studs where the exhaust manifold would go or the maniverter would go. And that's a completely open space, but it's a small E8 torque. So if I would have used the impact or the ratchet like I had it uh, with the impact socket, I had plenty of room for a 3 8 drive and I could run it out fairly quickly. I had to use a 3 8 to quarter inch step down plus extension plus a little socket. So just to kind of give you a for instance, sometimes it's kind of nice having the, the bigger set like in 3 8 and sometimes you want that quarter inch. So you're going to have to play it by ear, but look, $9.99, I think it's worth a shot. I may actually pick them up sometime during the week, and when I get ready to go back together with the cylinder head and all the other goodies that goes back on it, I may actually try out the Pittsburgh set if it's available and run it through the ringer and see how it does under the, under the gun of an impact, you know, or under the gun of a, of a cordless ratchet. I think it's a pretty fair assessment if you're putting a cylinder head on or taking one off you'll get an idea real quick of whether or not the socket eh, can take most of the force. I very rarely had any that broke right away but there has been a couple of circumstances that I've tried to use some cheaper made stuff that has broken right away. For the most part some, most of the cheap stuff lasts me for years before I have any problems with it. But all right guys, I'll let you guys put your comments feelers down below. Uh, what you think about ADV, what do you think about the Chrome, uh, what do you think about Impact versus Chrome. Let's hear your thoughts on it from Shade Tree to Weekend Warrior to Professional uh, Dealer Tech to Indie Tech. Let's hear your thoughts on Impact versus Chrome. Which should you start off with first and which do you prefer quarter inch, three eighths or half inch drive. That's all I got for this video. Make sure you check out the Dennett Tools. His link will be down in the description as he is the one that gave me the idea to try out these ADV style sockets. I believe the only other style of ADV anything that I've actually tried that was Matco Impact anything was the Axle Nut Socket Set. But I've never owned any other regular sockets that I would use on a day to day. Those Axle Nut Sockets, that's a once in a blue moon use throughout the year. So 
naturally they're going to last you a long time, which is why I think I should have gone with the Maddox ones from Harbor Freight. But anyway, that'll wrap it up for today. Cheers to those of you that have your beers. I hope you're enjoying your work week. We'll see you guys next time. Deuces.